The Wealthy Life is brought to you by investment dealer Raymond James. Life well planned. See what a Raymond James advisor can do for you. With us today is Mike Todd, a dedicated philanthropist helping to make the world a better place and the director of CHIMP, Charitable Impact. Welcome to the show, Mike. Thanks very much, Sybil. Okay, before I ask about your background, I gotta jump in. Right. Director at CHIMP? What's CHIMP? CHIMP, Chimp, as you said, is short for Charitable Impact. It's actually called a portmanteau, which I didn't know until I joined, but that's what it stands for, and it's very memorable. So what does CHIMP do? CHIMP is a giving platform that allows Canadians to achieve their philanthropic goals. Now, in layman's terms, it allows people to give money to causes they believe in, right? That's exactly it. We like to say that we're cause agnostic and that we don't direct you to any particular charity. We just want you to give and we want to facilitate that giving. Well, think of what a better world this would be if everybody mm. gave a little something. Right. How did you get to where you are today? Tell me a bit about your background. Sure, I have what I call politely a uh, eclectic resume in that I worked in the investment management business for about, about 10 years and did a real about face and spent 10 years working in Vancouver's downtown east side for a small charity. I uh, lived in Asia for a couple of years just to sort of meld it all together and then came back and, and became involved with philanthropy, primarily working with financial advisors, but for the cause of charity. So it's something near and dear to you for many, many years. It is, absolutely. What do you think about the state of charity in Canada today? I'm concerned about the state of charity in Canada. I think that um, money is going up and if you look at the statistics over the last couple of years more money is going to charity which initially is great great that's good yeah. sounds good but if you look at the number of canadians who are actually giving that's dropping and that's a concern why and do you think that is I, I don't i'm not sure to be honest with you i think that we're we're living in an era where philanthropy or charity is very much charity driven canadians are very generous people but we give when we're asked and that's because we really haven't been nurtured in how to give we might have learned a little bit at the temple or at church or at the synagogue, but beyond that, we haven't been really taught how to give effectively. So we give when we're asked, and so charities become very, very good at asking. But that doesn't really uh, develop donors. No, and I think, well, I can speak for myself. When I go to the grocery store and they ask me as I'm ringing my groceries mm -hmm. through, oh, would you like to add $2 for this cause or that cause? Well, it's easy enough to give when they ask, mm -hmm. but you're not really feeling connected to the end result. And I often wonder, am I really making a difference or should I do something bigger? Right. So right. what do you think Canadians should be doing differently today when it comes to charity? Well, I think that what we want to do is turn it from a charity-centric world to a donor-centric. And, and that it sounds fancy, but what I really mean is I want the donor to be in control. And so I think we need to find a way to give when it makes sense for us to give. Give effectively, give efficiently when it makes sense for us to make that gift. And then we have funds that are available to give to charities when we are asked, but we can also be more strategic with our giving. I like that. I'd rather be in control mm. of where my money is going and make it easier to say yes and no. Right. So do many people that you work with or know of have what's called, I would like to refer to it as a personal giving philosophy or a personal giving strategy where they only give to certain causes and they stick to that? Not many, it, that number is increasing thankfully, but not many yet. I, I think it starts with understanding that they can actually take control, as you said, and, and can start to think about trying to be more effective and more efficient. And then from that, it makes sense. Okay, if I'm going to give when it makes sense for me to give, what's my policy? What's my guidelines? Uh, what is, what's important to me? What are the so, causes that I want to help? So do you have to be a high roller to be a philanthropist? Not at all, not at all. In fact, I would maintain that every single one of us in Canada, if we pay taxes, we are a philanthropist. I refer to taxpayers as involuntary philanthropists. We write a check to the government and they spend the money as they see fit. We have great social programs in this country, as you know, I'm not complaining, but it's not necessarily how I would spend the money. So I would rather become a voluntary philanthropist, give the money to charity instead of the government, and then have a little bit more control over where it goes. Oh, I fully agree. And I think when you have a strategy and a plan, it does make it easier to say no to some of the asks that you get. Mm -hmm. And then when you do say yes, feel like you're part of something bigger. Right. So what are some ways that people can give? I mean, I've heard of something called a, a giving account. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. Sure, I think that a giving account makes perfect sense. We use accounts to organize our lives. We have bank accounts for our money. We have Facebook accounts for our friends. We have email accounts for communication. So I think, why should our giving be any different? We should have an account for that. 
And it's just a way to centralize your giving and then to, to use that as your strategic tool. I like that. I think about you know some of the finance shows that you've seen, and they got piggy banks and jars, mm -hmm. and you put your money. This is your grocery money, and this is your car money, and your house money. Why not have a charity bucket as well, or, or right. jar? And then you can plan for it, and whatever you can put in there, you get a tax receipt for first of all mm -hmm. any of the donations that you make, and then you get to direct that money out to the causes, right. and you can work in a budget accordingly. Is That's that? Right kind of what you're getting at? That's right. You can give $5, $20, or you can give securities, stocks as we know, so every, anything in between. And every single one of those gifts, that's philanthropy. So can people set up a this type of an account and have automatic monthly donations go into it? Definitely. That's what I do. I have a, a money that comes out of my bank account every month, goes into my online giving account, I'm tax receipted, and then when I do want to give away money, I just sign on and give it away. Really? So you just log in, mm. pick your charities, and hit go. It's just kind of like doing banking transactions. Exactly, exactly. Except, yeah. except for you're not paying a bill, you're paying a charity. You're That's giving right. money to a good cause. And making an impact, absolutely. So what do you think are some of the main reasons why people don't give? I think people are confused. There's so many charities. There's 86,000 charities in Canada. Uh, a lot of them doing fantastic work, but it's just hard to keep track. And we're also asked continuously. I mentioned before that it's very much a charity-centric world. So that means that we, we give them more asked, so the charities become very good and they spend a lot of energy at asking. And so we get tired of being asked and I think sometimes that turns people off. Yeah, you get the fatigue. Well, one of the biggest tips that I would have for viewers today is to have a look at what is your personal giving strategy. And if you don't have one, contact us at thewealthylife.com because we've got a workbook that can walk you through how to set up your own strategy and how to set up your own giving account. Fantastic. And any final words of wisdom that you would like to share with everyone? I think we should, should not be discouraged. Everybody that I know has something that they can give. Everybody that I know has something that they want to see change in the world. And you can put those two things together and make an impact. Donors and charities coming together to make the world a better place. Absolutely. Mike, thanks for being on the show. It's great having you here. Thanks very much. Pleasure to be here. And when we return, discover how a spousal RSP account can save you taxes.